All right, Detroit Pistons fall to the Indiana Pacers, 111-102. to The Pistons move down to a tie with the Nets. I'm not sure if the Nets won or lost tonight. They're playing Milwaukee. I believe they're now 39-38, and exact record, I think. I know at least in the loss column with the Nets. And then the Pacers advance from to 46-32. and It's been amazing what they've been able to do without their best player, Victor Oladipo. And, um, you know, tonight, Bojanovic was, you know, great. And Sabonis, how's this dude not starting in the league, was great tonight. He had a double-double uh, and fouled out, I believe, 18 and 12. But let's talk about emergency sports talk in the building. It's your boy, CJ Goodfella. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And uh, Miles Turner was pretty damn good tonight, man. He got five blocks, <laughs> 17 points and six rebounds. Dre kept him off the boards. For, for the most part, so that was a good thing about it, man. It's always good to see. It's always good to see a good big man battle. And Miles Turner, he's from the Dallas area. So, uh, one of the other guys on my other channel that I, I connect with, he said that um that uh, he uh, that's his that's he grew, his son. Their sons went to school together. And he's from the area, and uh, you know Miles Turner has become a fine NBA player. I must say, man. Um, I thought he was the scum of the earth. Uh, like a couple years ago, but he got really good, but he had a good game. Bojanovic, he didn't do shit in the first half, but he heated up. He was one from three, he almost set, shot 50% from the floor, 17 and 16. He was able to get to the bucket. He was a plus five tonight, 19 points, six assists, seven rebounds. Um, Thaddeus Young was straight tonight. He had um, five turnovers, though. He had 19 points, nine rebounds, uh, five assists. Uh, keep going. Um, you know, Corey... Craig Joseph didn't do good as I thought he was this opportunity tonight with Collison sitting. Um, he only got four points tonight, really much nothing after that. And Tyreek Evans, he started tonight. He had 13 points. Uh, he had three turnovers and three assists. He's somebody that just never really, you know, developed a jump shot and just never really developed as an NBA player. But Doug McDermott he was a plus 17 tonight. He gave you 11 points off the bench. And two assists, and uh, Sabonis, we talked about him. He was amazing. Talk about the Pistons before I get my complete synopsis on the game. Thon Maker was solid tonight, 14 points. He was only a plus one. He had four blocks himself, six rebounds. Uh, like I said before, I, I, I like some Thon Maker, bro. That's my guy. And I told people that I called that trade. The, I called that trade before it happened. You know, I didn't think it was going to happen. No inside information that they should have dealt Stanley for Thon Maker or acquired Thon Maker. And I think he got the potential. I think a lot of people starting to see it now. Dre, he he beat the shit out of uh, Miles Turner on the boards tonight for the most part. He was a negative ten on the floor though, but he had ten. Re he had seventeen rebounds and eighteen points. He flirted with another twenty twenty, five assists. He didn't get no blocks tonight. That's something he been working on, but it is what it is. Um, and he, he had four personal fouls as well. But um, Reggie had twenty two tonight. He was a negative two on the floor tonight. Six rebounds, four assists. He had a big shot early in the first quarter. I thought he was going to be, like, go for 30 or something. That was an end one. Uh, this was the guy tonight for the Pistons, at least in the first half. Wayne Allerton, 26 points. He was hot early on. He didn't end up shooting that good. He was uh, 14 for uh, 13 from three. That's solid, but he was 10 and 19 from the field. Um, but from three, I don't like he shot that good. But And two for four from the free throw line. But he was hitting some shots tonight. Ironically, Bruce Brown was a plus 12 on the floor. He didn't score a point. Two steals, two assists, two rebounds. He just got to develop an offensive game. I think he hit a three tonight. Or no, that was the other night he hit a three with Portland. He looked real confident. Um and John Lord got on the floor. He was a negative ten. Zaza was a plus ten. They didn't get much off the bench. Six from uh Ish and uh three assists and two rebounds from Ish. Uh nine points from Galloway. He was dealing with the stomach flu. Glenn Robinson the third. He got seven points and one assist, one rebounds. And uh, I think uh Old boy had a boot on his foot, Luke Kennard. So you didn't see much of him, none of him tonight at all. But pretty much the Pistons came out hot, hitting threes. Galloway hit a three before the the uh, half. Wayne Ellington was on fire. Reggie looked like he had it going early. And, um, you know, for some reason, it, it just fell apart in the second quarter. I mean, they pounded us. They had 36 points in the second quarter to our 22. And um, that was pretty much the the, the, the game right there. The second quarter where they outscored us thirty six to twenty two. We outscored them thirty three to twenty three in the first quarter. But then other than that, we all uh, they outscored us uh by three in the third and two in the fourth. So really that second quarter was, was a big momentum swing. 
and Bryanovich waking up in the second half, and you had a good job by Aaron Holiday as well. He had nine points or ten points, excuse me. He was a plus 16 with an opportunity. Um, like I said before, uh, Collison didn't play tonight. Obviously, Oladipo ain't play tonight. But this is a big, it was a big loss for, for, for the Pistons, man, because we got to see them again. But the Pacers are good at home. They're not so good away from home, at least not as good at home. So, um, yeah, they 29 and 10 at the crib. We 14 and 25 away from the crib. So, you know, Wayne Ellington, man, he 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 just woke up tonight going cray cray, and we got we need some more of that from him, especially in the playoffs. But like Greg Kelsey mentioned on the telecast, this is a uh, this is really like playoff basketball right here. When you lose to a team, you get a day off, you get to break down, make adjustments, and the next time you get to play them. So obviously, it's more than likely we won't play any 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 in the playoffs. But like I said before, man. Indiana got a really good team, even without Oladipo, and they really, they really well coach. And the difference between us and Indiana is that Indiana is more, they got more talent from top to bottom. They got good guard play when Callis is healthy and Oladipo healthy. But behind them, they got veterans like Tyreek uh, Evans. They got Bojanovic that could fill it up. Miles Turner. I mean, Sabonis. I mean, you know, you talking about having to live up to a legend, Arvita Sabonis in Russia. His son is a baller, man. And I think he needs to start a minute. You got Daddy as Young, who's playing Philadelphia. Um, Doug McDermott, who fills it up in Creighton. Remember, his dad was a coach in Creighton. So, overall, this team was really built well. It was built for the long haul. They got more depth than we do. We can't afford no injuries in this show tonight. We didn't have Blake, and we didn't have Luke Kennard. And we already thin in talent and just, you know, overall talent. But Wayne Ellington stepped up tonight. He shot it with confidence. And he was just looking at his stroke, coming off strings, Catching and shooting, his stroke just looked like like it just looked like it was golden at night, and um you know every once in a while you get some crazy games like that. We need more, but like I said before, the one thing I took away from the game tonight is that Don Maker got all star potential. I'm gonna keep saying it, and Sabonis, man, somebody need to go and come save him from Indiana. He need to be starting somewhere. Sabonis is is, is a starter right now. I think Sabonis got a lot of all star potential with him. He is a really, really good player, and he don't need to be coming off nobody bench. I believe that guy probably a top 20 big right now. With the opportunity, he can prove to be a top 15 big or a top 10 big if he's able to get starter minutes. But, you know, it's the reason they got him on the pinch count. But I like what I see from Thon Maker. He playing with a lot more confidence under Dwayne Casey. He know what type of minutes he's going to get tonight. He know he's not going to get yanked for making a stupid mistake. Thon Maker is going to be that guy. And Blake, I mean, Dre... He played strong again tonight, man. He played like a beast. He, he keep missing them fucking bunnies. But, you know, eventually he'll slow down and take his time and he'll get there. But he made an excellent post move on Miles Turner. And that was my matchup of the night coming in, watching him and Miles go at it. And they both kind of did their thing tonight, man. Miles Turner getting up there, man. You know, I think he he shot a three tonight. He, he going to be a problem. But Drake, but, but Dre, excuse me, is a problem already, man. Big, strong. This was a lot of bully ball between Sabonis. Uh, Miles and Dre today, man. Ton of bully bar, but we were shorthanded. We had sick players out there, but we fought. We fought, man. But we we got to win this next one, man. And then we got OKC, uh, um, and then I think the Thunder in New York. Uh, the New York, uh, excuse me. And then we got the New York Knicks, the Memphis and the Knicks. is the last two games. So, um, you know, I, I just you know, I look forward to uh, you know, where we going from here, man. Let me make sure I get the the proper thing. Yeah, we lost. I can't. They ain't showing me. They schedule. Give me a second. I'm trying to look at their schedule on my computer. Um, I know we got the, the Memphis, the Knicks and Memphis, our last two games. Um, give me a minute. Yep, Memphis, Knicks. You know, we got Indiana again tonight, Oklahoma City, Charlotte, Memphis, and the New York Knicks. Uh, I don't think we beat Charlotte all year. <laughs> So we gonna be at home versus Indiana on the road. Oklahoma City on the danger not making the playoffs. They playing terrible. That could be a win. That going home for Blake, Charlotte. They are tough out for us for whatever reason that is. Then Memphis and New York. So I feel strongly about us making the playoffs, man. But let me know what you guys thought about the game. Like I said before, Pistons take that L, one eleven to one hundred two. Um, but I, I, you know, it's encouraging, man. Got to get healthy. You know, we'll be back, man. But. Y'all know what it is. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or a video request. And uh, let me know what you guys think about the Pistons and um, what you thought about the game tonight. And, um, 
you know, we're going to keep it moving. Rest in power to the brother Nipsey Hussle saying it all day. Should be my last video.